Hi everyone, Ian from Q-Tips. A quick video today. I want to show you how to set your layer scale visibility. Let's open up a new session of QGIS and we are going to need a couple layers to work on. And I'm going to use the uh, quick map services layers uh, that you can stream in via that plugin. So if you just, if you don't have this uh, activator, just go to your plugins menu and then select manage and install plugins. And then we want to go to, I think it's an installed plugin. And we're looking for quick map services. Okay, so you want to be turning that on. If you don't see it here, then just under the all option, just type in quick. And then you should see quick map services. So, so turn that on. Once that's turned on, you'll get a, a new option under a web menu called quick map services. Now you may not have all of the options that I've got here. If you don't, then what you'll need to do is come down to settings. And then go to more settings, the tab more settings, and you're going to click on get contributed pack. And what that'll do is it'll it'll load a bunch of other um, uh, links to other quick map service options. And the latest version is downloaded. We can say OK and save. Now when you open it up, uh, if it's the first time you were adding quick map services, you should have extra options. Now we can add two layers to work on. So I'm going to use the Google satellite image. And then I also want to use the OpenStreetMap standard layer. So what I want to do is I want to have a situation where these two base layers will turn on and off at different scales to kind of replace each other. So logically, to me, it seems that it would be better, would be better to have the satellite image turned on at a, a smaller scale. So let's start off at a scale we can work with. Let's just zoom in a bit and see what kind of scale is going to work for us. Maybe. Let's use 100,000. So for the Google satellite image, I want it to only turn on at 100,000. So in your layers panel, right click on the layer you want to set the layer uh, scale visibility for. Select set layer scale visibility and then activate it, turn it on. And then I want you to turn on or click on minimum uh, scale and then type in the value you want there. So I'm going to set this to 100,000. And then once, as soon as I say OK, this should turn off because I'm sitting here at 209,000. So let's say OK. And it does. It turns off and you'll see it's grayed out. That implies that it won't turn on because the set the scale visibility has been set. Now I want the OpenStreetMap uh, scale visibility to turn off at that scale. So I'm going to do the same thing. Right click on that layer in the Layers panel. Select Set Layer Scale Visibility. And then the maximum I'm going to leave at the default, but over here, I'm going to set this to 100,000. Okay, so now I'll leave them both on. And, and if I turned off, let's just turn off the Google satellite image and zoom in past 100,000, and you'll see that this will turn off. Okay, so we're sitting at 104,000. We zoom in a tiny bit more, it disappears. We turn on the satellite image, it's now on. So now with both of these set, we can zoom in and out and they will replace each other depending on what scale visibility we have set. Okay, pretty useful. And that's, that's quite useful when you're also creating a layout. Let me show you how that can work when you use an insert. So let's go and create a layout quickly. We'll create a new layout. Uh, let's just assume it's an A4 we're creating. And we'll add a, a map to here. Okay, and let's just wait for it to render. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position, let's go back to our map view, turn that off. I'm going to zoom into the city of Cape Town, go back to my layout, and I want to import or we'll set the extent to match the map canvas. And it sets it sets it at three hundred thousand. So let's actually set this at uh, let's set it at ninety thousand. So that should be the the satellite imagery. Okay, there it is. Just pan to a slightly more interesting area. Maybe the city of Cape Town Harbor or something like something like that. That looks good. Now what I'll do is I'm going to add a second map in the top left hand corner and this is going to be my, my map insert. Okay, and you'll see it's already come in at a different scale. So now it's rendering 
using the, the scale visibility for the OpenStreetMap layer. But what I'm going to do is create a little overview. I'm going to add an overview using map one. Okay, so now we know that the extent of the greater or the, the main map is shown up there. And then if we select this again, we can possibly zoom out a little further. What are we setting at there? Um, it's a million, so maybe what would two million look like? There we go. So now we can see the original context of the main map in the map insert. And that's how you can use layer scale visibilities to also render your your layers in your map insert in the in the layout. Okay, so that was it. Short little video. Hope it's useful. Let me know how it goes. Cheers.